Hi Music Freaks, Mathieu here for another Bitweek tutorial. Um, we're into this series about the note, note effects. Uh, so I will just keep on on this. This time we're going to talk about the diatonic transposer. So what does it mean diatonic and what does it mean transpose? So um, to transpose is to shift the pitch um in half tones uh basically i mean yeah if you have the the pieces in c for example and uh if you transpose it a half tone then it's gonna sound in c sharp or the other way around um so uh, you have a keyboard player not not really skilled keyboard player and uh somebody can say hey we have this piece in c sharp um major and uh and then the keyboard player starts sweating and oh, c sharp major oh but i can transpose it okay so he, he can tr you can transpose on the keyboard uh you have usually you have this function and you can cheat that way uh so uh, you can play in c but everything is going to be shifted one half step up so it's transposed so that's what transpose uh, means and uh diatonic uh, means uh not chromatically. Chromatically means uh, half steps wise, and diatonic means uh, uh, within a scale, basically. But that would I'm gonna make another series about music theory anyway. Um, so uh, you will have to get your information somewhere else. In the meantime, uh, there is plenty of. Uh, uh, vulgarization uh, videos about music theory oh um there is a wonderful book uh it's this one called the elements of music from jason martino and uh it's i mean it's really thin and you always have text and a really well done uh visualization of of stuff on the on the right side like this is visualization of scale for example so it's incredibly well done and the text is really good i mean it's one of the best uh, uh theory books uh i've i had and that's the smallest so for all um of of you out there who, who are into music produce uh, producing but don't want to start digging too much into music theory but rather making music that a good alternative would be to check this book so uh that's an transposer it's a note effect so um it's it's gonna be here in this slot here slot in this slot not a slot it's a slot so diatonic transposer it's a note effect so um it means that it is changing or filtering the midi signal in some way before it gets to the instrument or the device here the, the policy um but instead of putting them before like here uh, we can put them in in this box here as soon as you click on it you see it's blue around it so, and then you have this blue plus so when you click on the blue plus the um, browser it's gonna be automatically on note effects and you can go for bitwig devices and then you see all the bitwig uh, note effects we did the arpeggiator already I will jump over the chain and we do only the blue ones for this seri or maybe we do the white one at the end and the diatonic transposer is there boom so uh, we see all the different note names here only in sharp and not in B's uh, which is arguable but uh, let's uh, not get too anal about this um, then you see here the uh, different modes, I mean sub modes, have major, minor, Dorian, Phrygian, Lydian, Mixolydian, Locrian, harmonic minor, melodic minor. Um, so these are uh, the most used scales 
major minor dorian fridge and legion and mixer legion are really really popular into in electronic music in pop music in rock um Locrian, uh, probably a bit less pretty difficult to use and harmonic minor and melodic minor are the minor scales uh, with dominant in them sound a bit more classical uh, so they are probably a, a bit less used in electronic music uh, but yeah anyway those nine scales here are uh, pretty common um, so what's happening is it is basically a note filter if I say my piece is or my track here is in C minor and I happen to play a note that is not in C minor, um, then the this device is gonna filter uh, the wrong notes if there is such a thing as wrong notes. Anyway, uh, so here you can choose what is gonna happen to these, those notes. Filter means it's gonna stop them. Constrain means it's gonna move them to the next available uh, uh, right note. So in this case, if I say C minor, in C minor we have uh, E flat, uh, A flat and uh, B flat for minor, uh, natural minor. And um, if I play an E natural, it's gonna move it to the E flat. And same for the, the other notes. If I play an A natural, it's gonna move it to the A flat. If I play a B natural, it's gonna move it to the B flat. Um, that's the constraint function. And the keep fun function is gonna do nothing. You probably can switch between the modes, so that's why there is a keep. Otherwise you could actually stop this. I'm not sure what's the, the reason to have the, the keep mode. Anyway, when you have a scale here uh, put on, um, you can also mode shift. So that means that if you take a scale, you can always uh, permutate the notes. Like you can have the seven notes of uh, C major and uh, this is C and you don't have to, oh, I can have the keyboard here. Um, seven notes of C major from C to B and and so on repeating itself so if you start from here it's a C major but if you start let's say I mean I'll go for this D because there is no D here if you start from this D here and go there you have the same intervals they are in the same order but you start in another point and end in another point so the the half tones are going to be at different places uh, compared to the first note uh, which gives another sound. These are the modes basically. So you have Union, Dorian is the one starting from D, Phrygian is the one starting from E, Lydian is the one starting from F, Mixolydian from G, uh, Minor Natural from uh, A, and uh, from B is Locrian. Uh, I encourage you to go and check this. This is very important for uh, uh, music production to understand this. Actually, there is more modal music than tonal music nowadays. Uh, uh, if you take like electronic music, uh, rock music, reggae music, uh, the, 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 it's much more modal music than than tonal music. Anyway, it's another thing. So the, all this to say that if you have a scale that is set up here, you can mode shift, boom, one step, and it's actually going it's going to play D Dorian there because we have C major on and uh, it's going to transpose the stuff, but keeping the intervals, it's going to transpose diatonically. If I go one step up, okay, let, let's do something. I will play this, cl this clip here. I set this up before. It's just C major, you see, only the, only the white. And then, look, I go for minor. Now it sounds minor. Dorian. I won't do them all. So, C major again. And here I can mode shift. 
so it's gonna move everything but stay on the white keys again now it's starting from E going to E and one more from F to F from G to G from G to G and uh, from A to A from B to B and from C to C in Octavia it's a bit misleading be be because uh, I think about C being 1, D being 2, E being 3 and here you have the step starting from 0 um, we, it could be nice also to have the exact name of the scales coming up I mean there won't be much of a, of a, a problem uh, to implement this and that could help uh, that could help people uh, understand about the, the modes and scales um one complaint i have also is that uh, there is no pentatonic uh, but this is probably easy to do if you filter the notes afterward or before, yeah probably afterward it's better or you could use the another one that is actually doing almost the same thing transposition map so this is can is matrix like uh, it, when it's like this nothing changes but uh, you have notes coming the way to understand it is the note in is on top and the result is there so uh, here we have C is is staying a C let's play the clip again uh, so we, are in, we have this C major scale and if I move this square here It's not allowing a, a C to remain a C. Every C is going to be now a C sharp. So it's a bit hard to understand the, the way it's working, but note in is coming from the top and the result is to be read from the side. So second, second slot is then C sharp. So you could actually uh, map like this um, uh, a pentatonic scale let's say uh, let's go for a c major pentatonic c major pentatonic it's is c d e g a and that's it we have uh, five notes so if i say oh uh, i don't want any c sharp so anytime a c sharp is coming like second back to the first if there is a d it can stay as a d you know then uh, if there is a, a a d sharp or e flat it has to be a d if there is a e it's okay because it's part of the pentatonic if there is a f no i don't want an f i want it to be an e then i don't want an f sharp you know f sharp has to be a g g five five g is okay a i don't want a g sharp i want an a a is okay and then uh, we don't want a b but we don't want to have only a... okay i can see c then this works because we are in c and uh, i didn't change the root but the root note like the one is c here so it's working so now we have despite we have a, a major scale here. What we hear is a pentatonic. Uh, I could demonstrate this uh, if I record the MIDI that's coming out of uh, this track. So uh, instrument, I just made another instrument track. Uh, I click here to see the input output and I say I will take the MIDI from this first track called bass line and uh, polysynth chain node fx transposition map that's where I'm taking my MIDI from and uh, I will record the MIDI and 
enough. So now we can compare the, the two clips. We have C, D, E, no F, no F sharp, G, A, C. We had, what came in was the C major uh, scale, only the white keys. So it's working and that, that's a pretty nice tool. So both, both those tools are serving the same uh, purpose. Uh, this one is more with the name of the scales and this one is a bit more abstract, but uh, very open uh, in some way. Uh, you can have the octave up, octave down. What is what it is doing? Let's see. Of course, you could transpose C sharp. We just transposed everything at once. So, so. So that was the that were the, the two transposition tools uh, from uh, the Bitwig node FX. Let me see if there is something else in the same kind. Oh, we have the pitch shifter. Uh, the pitch shifter is you can shift in half tones. So now we have C sharp because one half step up. You can also go fine for more fine tuning uh, and octaves up. So you can say an, uh, one semitone and uh, down an octave and then you have C sharp but down an octave uh, and so on. But this is going chromatically it's not gonna look at the intervals in your in your in your scale. It's just gonna take everything and put it where you want it to. And those this one is dealing with scales directly, so it it will take a bunch of notes and move their their places uh, relative to each other. Uh, and this one can do both, but is more abstract looking. So these are the three main uh, transposition uh, tools and I think it's enough for this video and uh, I'll make another one for the next ones. So um, thank you for watching. Um, I hope you're having fun uh, discovering Bitweek 2 uh, with me and uh, yeah, that's it. I hope to catch you somewhere sometime and uh, see you for the next videos. Peace out.